Let's look at uncommons. Let's look at uh, let's look at uncommons. Allied assault. Up to two target creatures each get plus X plus X until the turn where X is the number of creatures in your party. Um. So synchronized strike was a bomb in other formats. Would but that also untapped them, which is a big part of the bomb part. This does not untap them. Which was synchronized strike was tuna green untapped two creatures that get plus two plus two. And this says up to, which is nice, so you can actually play that when you feel like one creature in play. I know my rule was that you should evaluate these cards as only having one part of the spells as only having one part of the party, but I think the output on this is strong enough that if you can consistently get to two, this card is really good. I know I know I generally say that you don't want to play combat tricks in limited, however, this doesn't necessarily open you up to being one for two because there are two targets. And so if you sell like a pair of two twos into like a pair of three threes and you and then you just play Ally Assault, then even if they kill one of your creatures, you're still gonna it's still gonna be an even trade, like a two for two trade. This card's probably pretty good. Um, especially if you can get up to three or four up to three or four. I imagine myself losing to this all the time if this goes up to three or four. I don't know what color I don't know what creature types would actually get up to three or four. It looked like from the playables on, on, on white, they had some clerics and some warriors. So rogues and wizards, so I guess white blue. I would assume in white blue this is probably great. I would assume rogues are in rogues are in blue white. So I'm I, this is good. I think if you're I think if you're if you're not playing a deck that can access X equals three or X equals four, you should probably not play it. But I think if you can actually access that, these cards are probably gonna be amazing. Yeah, and plus this Allied Assault card is like, it's 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 already requires you to have two creatures in play to even play it a lot of the time. I mean, you're not going to play it unless you have two creatures in play investment rate at the time. So I think it's safe to like get plus two, plus two on this. And, and two and a white for plus two, plus two, two targets, you would totally play that card. Uh, Attended Healer. Whenever you gain life for the first time each turn, create a 1-1 one, one correct creature token. Another target player gains life link until the turn. Uh, I don't know about this one. Yeah, Attended Healer. Uh, the stats are not good. The stats are not good, but it does combo pretty well with the common. The two and a white one four common. It makes this all your clerics and also also making one ones. I think this card's probably good. Especially since the, the angel is also a cleric. I think this card's probably good. Yeah, this will this is good. I'm on board. I'm on board with this. This is not the same. This is not the same as there is a four mana two three like falconer adapter thing is what it was. Um, in previous sets, in the previous set that was like four mana two three on attack, make a one one flyer. That card was bad. Uh, I don't think. I think even though this makes non flyers, I think this is a lot better because this can make the ground just like an untenable situation, especially since there are. Uh, a lot of landfall abilities and you it just get this throws out chump blocker so instead of having to like take six you can just throw one one away that's like relatively free to make so yeah i think this card's great i'm worth intended healer i imagine myself just losing to people who open up who open up with that the one four into this two three oh i just imagine just losing okay canyon jerboa Whenever landers of Alpha under control, creatures you control like a puzzle and until turn. If there were ways to get multiple lands into play, so this could be plus two, plus two, I think this card's the nuts. My understanding is that white doesn't have access to that effect. So I'm a little bit leery. Uh, obviously in white green, you could probably do it. Or if you have a tenant healer and you have some tokens, turn them into X into two twos. Uh, the, this is a 50-50 on whether the Straboa is whether it's going to be any good. Generally, you don't play these types of effects in sealed. So, actually, I'm going to put this into the, like, the not played pile. You generally don't play this. Um, you might end up playing it eventually in the right deck. But it's not good on turn 3. It's not good on turn 4. It's probably not good on... It might be good on turn 5 if, you're, if your deck is attacking. Which I don't know why you're playing an attacking deck in sealed. Mirror Captain, Flying Vigilance. When a Mirror Captain enters the battlefield, put a counter on it for each creature in your party. Holy moly. So, historically, a white has had access to a 4-mana 2-3 Flying Vigilance. And, and that card has historically been fantastic. 
Four mana, just, just literally four mana, two, three, Flying Vigilance. Is that, that card's been pretty good in the past. This is probably going to be a four mana, three, three, Vigilance or better. Um, wow. This card's great. I imagine getting smashed by this card a lot. Yeah, it counts as self, for sure. Fearless Fledgling, Landfall. When a land enters a battlefield under your control, put a plus muscle counter on Flayer's Fledgling against Flying... Okay, this card's fantastic. Yeah. Vine Lasher Kudzu. But, but better. So Vine Lasher Kudzu was a one in a green rare. That just like, when you ever landfall and put a counter on it. This is strictly better. And instead of it being a rare, it's an uncommon. <laughs> okay, well. Yep. Yes, that's all I have to say to that is yes. All right, cost one less to cast for each creature in your party. Yeah, I'm gonna lose that one a lot. Journey to Oblivion. Yeah, it gets a leap. It's not permanent flying, it's just on the turn, but it's still great. Like when you're a 4 4, you don't need flying, it's fine. When it enters the battlefield, exile target. Okay, so it's just the newest Oblivion ring that costs five instead of three. This is worse than Oblivion ring by quite a significant margin. Because <laughs> I think even if you have two in your party, it's, it's just st still strictly worse than Oblivion ring, right? Because Oblivion ring just always, like, yeah, I don't. Yeah, I, this is a miss. Obviously, if you're white, you play it. It's a splashable card. All right, Kabira Takedown. Kabira Takedown deals damage equal to the number of creatures you control to target creature or planeswalker. This card is fantastic. I'm surprised it just doesn't say attacking or blocking. I guess planeswalkers can't attack or block. That makes sense. I, mean, I guess they could be blocking. No, no Gideons here, I think. Oh, uh, yeah, this card's great. It's also a land. Always play it. It's probably going to be a two-mana deal, too. But it's probably it can be better than that, and it can hit. Play yeah, I'm on board. If you have if you have that cat token maker, this is just white terminate. Yeah, this is wow. What's up with that? Since when did white get good cards? All right, cards here, cleric. One mana, one one, flying. Enters the battlefield. It was kick tackle with just two target creatures. I think if you if you I think if you have like three pieces of equipment, this card's probably great. You have to be, you would have to be an aggro deck and sealed to play this card. And if you're aggro, if you're an aggro deck and sealed, this card is fantastic. Yeah, it's certainly more of a draft card than a sealed card. And that's kind of what the difference is between draft and sealed. Is that cards like this are typically you don't play them. The same with the Canyon Jabrola. These are cards that are much better when you can draft a deck that has no cards that cost more than four in it. Um, but that's like not what happens in sealed. Sealed, you're generally just going to be playing all your removal and playing a really like 10 or 11 creature deck and things are going to go pretty slow. So I think this is a no-go. You're probably not going to play it in sealed. Double strike. Quick creature to control, double strike. Now it, it does have like, it, the fact that it's double, like first of all, Fencing Ace, which was two mana, one, one, double strike, was a card that you would play anyways. And this is, this is Fencing Ace plus. Um, This card is good. I like it. You should almost always play it. This is like the type of two drop that I would love to play. Um, especially when there's like that common that gets plus and plus one for each of your party members. I can see this thing slamming for like six or eight on turn four pretty easily. Not to mention if you have some sort of equipment. I don't even know. I haven't seen equipment yet. Uh, I think every color got one. You're probably going to have one or two equipment in your deck. Yeah, this card's probably great. Paratactician. Whenever a paratactician and at least one other warrior attack, put a plus one counter on paratactician. This card is great. Uh, the common version in other sets where it's like two and a white, like makeshift battalion is what it was, two and a white, three, two. When you, ta when you tag with two other creatures, you put a counter on this. this one is, this one is way better. One other creature is not a hard ask at all. This card is great. Guy Clave Cleric, when here's a battlefield, gain two life. Uh, this is a card I would probably not, this is actually a double face card I actually might not play. <laughs> um... This is exactly the type of card I would not want, like... This is certainly a skill testing card. I think... I'm not sure this is better than basic planes. I mean, I guess if you have party members card... If you have party matters cards, this... On turn 7, if you draw it... You can play it, I guess. As a cleric that will do nothing. You can just basically 2 mana just got a card. Just, like, do nothing. Yeah. But... The effect is the effect is nonsense. The body is nonsense. 
I'm not sure the amount of times you cast this card and it matters is going to be worth the amount of times that it's going to be a land and you need to come up with land untapped. So Jerry Shelter, target creature you control against pressure from the color of your choice. Wow! Love it! Yeah, this card's great. I mean, it's no feat of resistance. But yeah, this card's great. Always play it. Like Kindy Stampede, creatures you control get plus two, plus two until the turn. Yeah, always play this. It's also like backdooring condition. Yeah, always play this. This is the the these these other split cards are so double face cards are so much better than Sky Click Cleric. You have to go be digging pretty deep to play this card. Maybe I'm under, maybe I'm really underestimating spell lands. Just like, just the fact that on like, just the fact on turn seven that it'd just be anything other than a basic land that's a blank. Maybe I'm underestimating that. Well, this is inspiring. As far as like playable white on commons, we've got like three that three that you would not play, and then all the other ones are great. That's encouraging. That's a good sign. Including like I think Amiria Captain is like a legit bomb. Like I feel like it I feel like it would not be hard for this to be a 4-4. And I think intended healer, I think it would not be hard paired with a common. This core celebrant. I think it's like Borderline trivial for a tended healer to be a bomb as well. And this fle fearless fledging is a freaking joke. Like, Vine Asher Kudzu is an actual rare that was actually good. This is an uncommon but better. I mean, it doesn't have a, it doesn't have a party type. But this is it's a 2-mana 5-5 five five or 2-mana 4-4. Four four, easily. Easily.